As a man in a relationship, why are you being extra in other women's comments? Like, the math ain't mathin'. You're a goddess. <laughs> Sir, you doing too much. And it's hurting your ability to get a woman because you out here with trust issues because Lori Harvey done broke up with 10 niggas in the last month. Like, it doesn't make sense. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Y'all can tell by the title, we back again. Part two, why you men cannot keep a woman. So this is gonna be the last part. I'm gonna do part two for the women and then we are gonna move on, okay? We've got today five more reasons why you can't keep a woman. So we're gonna get into it. Keep on watching to find the number, well, the other number one reason why you may not be able to keep a woman. Funny, funny. Now, I want to mention that all the tips today for these men, okay, came straight from my female supporters. I asked around, in your opinion, why do men struggle keeping a good woman in their life? So all these came straight from the ladies, okay? Not from me this time. So number five, something I haven't experienced yet, but I do understand it. And obviously this one came from a married woman. Y'all have to be comfortable switching roles as needed, okay? So some people may feel like the gender role thing is outdated, even if it's not gender specific. Both of y'all play roles in a relationship, okay? So whatever that may mean, circumstances may change, stuff might switch up and flip y'all's relationship, y'all's life together upside down what is considered the norm for you all might not be normal anymore y'all have to switch roles and be comfortable with that as life changes and i see that men struggle with this more than women so example your woman loses her job guess what the role has switched now you have to make up that income say if y'all got kids her work schedule changes now she gotta work nights or something now you're the, the primary caregiver to the kids taking care of them most of the time oh well you have to be comfortable with a switch like that if she gets sick all of a sudden and she breaks a bone or something bedridden maternity leave something like that and you have to be the one to take care of her again that switches your role okay the roles that you are used to playing may switch as life goes on and you have to be comfortable with the switch. Okay, number four, you may not be able to keep a good woman in your life because sometimes men be having real life hidden jealousy, animosity, and low key be like hating on their women, okay? It's men out here like that. Y'all need to stop that. Like, it's not healthy. How you gonna be hating on your woman? It's not a competition, okay? Y'all are a team. So if your woman gets a really good job opportunity, job promotion, a raise, she's all excited, she's telling you about it, and you like, that's what's up. Oh, for real? Are you ready for that? You sure you can handle that? Are you mad? Why would you even respond like that? Like, dang. Some of y'all be like low-key mad when your woman presents you with a good opportunity for herself. Some men, not all, okay? I've, but I've seen it with my own eyes. Be happy for your woman. You know what I'm saying? Lift her up. Encourage her. Be proud. Celebrate her. I tell my man I just gained two subscribers in one day. He hyped me up. He make me feel like I got a million subscribers every single day. He makes it feel like a huge, huge accomplishment. That is how it's supposed to be, okay? The point is, let your woman shine without you feeling inferior. <laughs> Okay, number three, this is a big one, okay? Men, y'all need to learn to adjust when you know you're dealing with a different woman in your life. So as much as y'all want to believe that every woman is the same, they're not, okay? Every woman ain't gonna tolerate the same things. Every woman isn't going to be comfortable with the same things. Every woman ain't gonna hold you to the same standard or expectations. Every woman ain't gonna treat you the same. In the past, you may have been dealing with a pushover or a woman that lets you walk all over her and do whatever you want. And then you get a new woman and she don't play that. You better make that adjustment because you're gonna lose her. This just is what it is. You might have been dealing with someone that was super selfish in the past, okay? Now you're dealing with this new woman who wants to do things for you, wants to take care of you, wants to contribute to your life in different ways. Like, let her do that. Adjust. This ain't the selfish woman you was dealing with. The point, you can't play the same games with everybody. Because it's not going to work. 
So number two, you may not be able to keep a woman because you don't keep the relationship with your baby mama in check, okay? I cannot speak on this because my man does not have children, okay? So we gonna call up the ladies, okay? So they can speak on this because I, I can't. We have two different generations of women, okay, right here. So I've already mentioned, I'm in the middle of filming, but I've already mentioned that I haven't dealt with this, so I'm not in a position to speak on it. So I guess we'll start with mommy, because <laughs> Ari's just waking up. So. <laughs> I know you mentioned about keeping the relationship with the baby mama in check, right? Yep. So why do you think that? Just because I think a lot of times with the baby mom, they tend to feel like a form of entitlement, which in a sense they do have it because they are the mother of, you know, the man's child or whatever. But there's like some real specific limitations going on there. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, sometimes if it's an emergency situation, that's one thing. But they should not feel like they can just feel free to communicate whenever, however, at any moment. There's, you know, there's limitations for that. Mm -hmm. And just making sure that it's a respectful situation. But that goes both ways because this can lead into problems with your current relationship as well. Because you don't know what her future holds. And she might be in that position one day. And so... How you handle that relationship is letting her know how you could possibly handle the one with her. You know, it could be a deal breaker for somebody. Like, you see how disrespectful he is to his kid's mom? Like, I'm good. Mm -hmm. You know, that's too much drama for me. You know the classic baby mama drama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like I had said before, also, they have a tendency, especially... If you don't have a child with him, they tend to feel like they got one up on you. Like, they have something with him that you don't or won't. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so it's important for the male to make his current relationship make her feel like that don't make her any better than you. Because mm -hmm. yeah. it could be intimidating for some people. If a, if a guy has a child with somebody else, then his current girlfriend need to fall back a little bit sometimes, you know, and just be like, <laughs> that's between him and the and the biological parent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's okay. that's why I don't get involved with my boyfriend and his baby mom stuff because I'm still a girlfriend. So I'm like, all right, well, I'm just going to go out in the room and go, go find something to do because <laughs> I don't, like, I've never spoken to her. I've never met her. I have no reason to speak to her or anything until there's a reason to. So, like, I don't be all trying to jump on the phone. Well, hey, no. I don't want nothing to do with that. I, have, I hold zero weight when it comes to them having a conversation or, or working something out with his son. You know, but I will, like, you know, involve myself when me and him are talking. Like, I'm not going to be like, well, that ain't my kid, but I'm like, you know, that. But I'm just not going to insert myself where I don't belong. So how do you feel in terms of your relationship, him having a kid and a baby mama? How does it affect you? Well, it, well, it affects us financially quite a bit <laughs> because he's responsible mm -hmm. financially. That is one thing. Our generation is real bad with the whole, what you were saying before, still messing with baby mama. This is the time for the mess, I should say. So mm -hmm. that's not not what what I'm dealing with, thank God. She probably could care less <laughs> about him personally. So we're not having a, a situation of like jealousy and I feel like I got to fight her and all that. No. Yeah. <laughs> just... Whatever happened between them, I just feel like she has not let go of. So it's like affecting his life still. So what do you feel in that situation a man should do about that? If he can do anything about it. Well, in my situation, the only thing he can do is continue to take care of his child, continue a relationship. Because, of course, they we're in different places. They're in different places. So he's not in the same state and the whole legal battle is still ongoing. So that's the only thing he can do is continue his personal relationship with his son, make his payments and keep doing his part that's all I can do at this very moment right now see I also think that well for me this is just really personal preference 
I just don't allow him to like go off and bash her in front of me. I don't want to hear that. It's be that that I don't want to hear that. Right. At the end of the That's day, true. It's too much anyway. Like at the end of the day, she wasn't a B at some point. Exactly. So stop trying. I, regardless of what happened, all that disrespectful type stuff. And trying to make it like she's such a horrible person all of a sudden. She wasn't always horrible. Mm -hmm. So let's keep it at that. Mm -hmm. And the guy's got to make it sure. Be the dad you want her to see for her potential future child. Yeah. Be that dad. So you can't say, well, you're different and this is different. I would never do you like that. Put, save it. <laughs> be the dad that you would want her to see that you might potentially be for her in the future. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, Lex, I got a good one, too. Be grateful, okay? Be grateful for the other person that's dealing with your child and your situation indirectly. You know that's what I'm saying? True. Like I already said, it's a lot of financial implications, even emotional, mm -hmm. all kinds of things that they take on by choice for you that they don't have to deal with. So show some appreciation for the fact that Maybe this person is stepping up and taking a little bit more of a load on bills because you got to pay child support. Show some appreciation for that. They don't have to do it because a woman can get worn out. Like, man, forget all this. You know, is baby mama crazy? They taking all his money in child support and he acting a fool and he'll never say thank you. At some point, they could be like... Guess what? I'm good. Leave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. That's I swear that's one of my deal breakers. If a man got kids, I'm I'm sorry. Like I, I it can't. It's a huge undertaking, uh, not to be taken lightly, and I'm not kidding about that. Exactly. And it don't go away, and it lasts forever. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I feel like as we get as we get older like me and Lexi it's even worse because everyone has children literally exactly. everybody and they mama literally have two <laughs> so it's like three kids two three <laughs> babies like, exactly like, oh I want my first kid to be my husband's first kid that's just how I mean that's just how I am that's just what I want and that's something that's required I'm not gonna be dealing with all that baby mama crap and he got to pay all that child support and all this. I'm not dealing with that. I promise you, I'm not. I don't got time. That's your choice. That's your, the option that you have. And a lot of people, I think, feel the way you feel that kind of, I hate to use the word desperate or they just want a man so bad mm -hmm. that they overlook something that they know they feel very strongly about. And they go into a relationship knowing that's not what they wanted. And it ends up bad. Exactly. It ends up miserable, mm -hmm. resentful. <laughs> All of my friends have kids. I'm the last one without, without kids. I just, at this point, just snip my tubes. Because at this point, I <laughs> don't want. That's where that's how I feel. That's how I feel. Even sometimes, honestly, sometimes the man is not the one that establishes and controls that relationship. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the women have to decide that we don't want this toxic, so let's just squash it. You know, because a man is just let shit go on and <laughs> don't say nothing and y'all be ready to kill each other. Like, for what? <laughs> mm -hmm. I think, too, you know? like, I think the age of the kid matters, too, because I feel like the older they get, the less interaction y'all have to have. It's like... Exactly. Because, like, my kids is 24. Why are we even speaking at this point? <laughs> like, <laughs> exactly. One eternity later. Well, I'll call y'all back. I'm about to right. get ready for work. Mm, okay. okay bye. 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 So, that was the spill on the baby mamas. The point, keep that relationship in check at all times. All right, and number one reason, the second number one, on why you may not be able to keep a woman is because a lot of men listen to respond and not to understand okay and that is a big issue in relationships y'all need to listen like not just hear actually listen and proof that you're listening is when you actually apply what your woman has told you or expressed to you okay y'all having a conversation she's expressing something to you that bothers her that's made her upset whatever listen to her and don't do it again okay or at least try super hard not to if she expresses something to you she's got some very important date coming up and she needs you to be there and remember and all that listen 
And don't forget it. Or put it in your calendar, in your phone, write it down, something. Because it's something important to her. If y'all are talking and it's something that you don't understand, ask questions. You know what I'm saying? Probe more to clarify so you completely understand what is being said. There's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes us women get to talking and y'all be like, yeah, all right, all right, I hear you. But are you listening? Y'all need to improve your listening skills. That actually goes for women too. I know women have trouble listening as well. So everybody, everybody, improve your listening skills, okay? So the point, listen to understand and don't listen to respond, okay? All right, y'all, that was part two of Dear Men. I hope y'all use this to reflect and improve on your own relationships and your own lives. That will be the last part of this one. Stay tuned for part two of the women's video. That will be Life with Lex episode four. Stay tuned for that. Thank y'all so much for watching. Comment if you want, like if you liked it. Definitely subscribe though. And I will see y'all in the next one.